Hello, everyone. I am Zhao Chuan. Today, let's draw the skull of Macaroceratops. Although skull fossils of Macaroceratops are incomplete, they still present a lot of key information. Based on the fossils, there were two forward curving spikes on its head frill, and that's how it got its name. In addition, it had two long brow horns, but no nasal horn, which made it look a bit like the Diabloceratops. The Diabloceratops had side curving horns on the head frill, whereas those of Macaroceratops curved forward. As a small dinosaur, Macaroceratops didn't have a large skull. First, let's draw the discovered remains of its skull. Start with the curved horns on the head frill, then move on to the parietal bone. A partial squamosal bone, and a small part of the lower head frill. Next, draw the front parts of its skull, including the jugal bones and the upward pointing brow horns. Now, let's complete the undiscovered parts of the skull. First, draw the suture between the parietal bone and the squamosal bone, as well as the two big openings on the head frill. Moving forward, at the eye sockets just below the brow horns. There were raised bones around the eye sockets. Further forward were the lacrimal and nasal bones. When drawing the nasal bones, we can take reference to the Diabloceratops. Large nostrils were formed between the premaxilla and the nasal bones. Under the premaxilla, there was a keratinous beak, and we can draw some rough textures on it. Next, let's draw the maxilla and mandible. as well as the tiny teeth on them. Located at the front of the mandible was a keratinous beak. Finally, complete the margin of the head frill. and the curved horns. Now, we've completed the skull of Macaroceratops.